Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Deshelly Labs, and today we're going to figure out what Deshelly DAC is right for you. So we have four different DACs, three on the market right now, the fourth being dropped at the end of the month. And we're just going to go over what are the differences of the board designs, and then also what op amps you have options for, for each DAC that we offer. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we have four here. So the first one is going to be your standard J2. The second is going to be the J2S. And the third is going to be the J3 Pro. This is the one that's going to be available at the end of the month, but is available for pre-order now. And then the fourth one is, of course, the Daisy. So each stack is going to vary just a little bit when it comes to the chip offerings and the op amp offerings. So we're going to start with the J2, work our way to the J2S, and then the J3, and then over to the Daisy. Okay, so let's start with the J2. So the J2 on our website, if you click, you're going to see that you have three different chip options. So your chip options are going to be the AKM4493, the ESS9026, and the Q2M9038. So you'll have to choose between which chip you want, but the op amps are not swappable. This is not a socketed board. So the standard op amps that come inside of it are just going to be the Texas Instrument OPA 1656s. So again, these are not swappable. And you have three different chips to choose from. Okay, so that is going to be the J2. Okay, so now moving on to the J2S. You're going to have two different chip options, both from AKM. So the first one is going to be the 4493. And the second one is available for the 4499 with an upcharge. So that is going to be the two different options that you have for the J2S when it comes to DAC chips. So the J2S does stand for J2 socketed. So this one, you can swap your op amps out and kind of customize a little bit when it comes to your board. So the standard op amp that's going to come inside of your J2S DAC is going to be the OPA 1656s, but they are going to look like this. So they are socketed. So they are the same chip that is on your J2, but you can replace them if you wanted to upgrade your op amps. So let's talk about what op amps are available for the J2S, whether it be the 99 or the AKM 4493. Okay, so whether you choose the 93 socketed version or the 99 socketed version, the op amp options are going to be the exact same for the J2S. So it is going to come standard with the TI OPA 1656s, but if you wanted to upgrade, you can upgrade to the Burson V7 Classics. These are going to be dual. The Burson V7 Vivids, these are going to be dual as well. Sparkos 3602s or the Burson V5s. So all of these are going to be available on our website if you wanted to upgrade. So if you are unfamiliar with swapping out op amps, there are some options that you can do. So if you want, you can just do the same op amp all around. So all around meaning the same ones on the XLRs, both of them, and then the same one on the RCA, or if you are only going to be using RCA or only using XLR, you can just upgrade the two on the XLR and keep the standard on the RCA, or you can upgrade your RCA and just keep the standard on the XLR. So those are going to be your options, but they do have to be the two of the same on the XLR, and it doesn't matter about the RCA. It can be a completely different one. So here are some examples that you can kind of do. So if you wanted to, you could do one. OPA 1656 on the RCA, and then you could do two Burson V7 Vivids on the XLRs. Or you could do one Sparkos 3602 on the RCA, 
and then two OPA 1656s on the XLRs. So if you're not comfortable with swapping out your op amps, I do have a video posted um, that teaches you exactly how, what to look for, um, and what indicators and arches and things like that. Um, so you don't blow up your DAC because if you do plug them in wrong, you can possibly blow your DAC up. So we don't want that obviously. So make sure you're super careful. And also these pins are very, very fragile. So you wanna make sure that you're super careful as well. Okay, so now that we've gone over the J2 and the J2S and what op amps are for each of those, let's talk about the J3. So the J3, the op amps are pretty much going to be the same that is offered for the J2S, except for there is going to be one more that is offered, which is going to be from Sparkos. And it is a fan favorite. So we did do a new board design in order to be able to fit these. So let's talk about it. Okay, so quickly going over the op amps one more time that are available for the J2S and the J3. It is going to come with the standard op amp of Texas Instrument OPA 1656s. So this is going to be just your standard op amp. When you order, this is what it's gonna come with, unless you upgrade. So again, your options are the Burson V7 Classics. These are going to be dual. Your Burson V7 Vivids, these are going to be dual as well. Burson V5s and the Sparkos 3602s. So now let's talk about this one right here, what it's called and how to order it. Okay, so these are what I have previously called 2590s. So what they are actually called is Pro to Dual Dip 8 Adapter with two SS 2590s fully assembled. So that is what it is called on Sparkless' website. That is what they asked us to call it. So I just wanted to clear that up, that that is what it is called. The Pro to Dual Dip 8 Adapter with two SS 2590s fully assembled. On our website, it will be shortened, probably just gonna be called the 2590s fully assembled, something of that sort. Um, but that is what this one is called. So essentially it is two 2590s assembled together to create a dual op amp. So this is going to be able to fit into the J3 all around. So you can do two on the XLR and one on the RCA, or you could just do one on the RCA and two on the XLR, but it does fit now, which did not fit on the previous J2S. So that is the one op amp that is not available for the J2S that is available for the J3. So that is going to be a big upgrade, of course, as all of the input selection buttons and things of that sort. So that is all the op amps that are available for the J3. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's talk about the op amp options in the DAISY because they do differ completely from the J series. So that's going to be the J2, the J2S, and the J3. So all of those op amps that I previously listed are not going to be for the DAISY. They're going to be completely different and you do have four options. So when you first order your DAISY, it is going to come standard with the Texas Instrument OPA 1655s. So that is what is going to originally come with your DAISY. So if you wanted to upgrade your op amps, you do have three choices. So you can do either the Burson V7 Classic Single or the Burson V7 Vivid Single, or you can do the Sparkos 2590s. Now, the thing with the DAISY is you do have to do all eight. So you can't do like four Burson and four Sparkos or four of the 1655s, two Burson and two Sparkos. You do have to do all eight. So each op amp is going to run a single channel. So that is why you do have to swap out all eight. So if you are upgrading your op amps when you are ordering your DAISY, just understand that you do have to purchase eight of your op amp of choice. Okay, so now that we have gone over all of your options for not only DAX, but the op amp options as well. Let's talk about what DAC may be right for you. So all of our DACs are going to be in different price ranges pretty much. So you pretty much pick your budget and then you can see what you can get and what you can't. So for the J2, it is a great DAC. It is a great, no matter what you choose, I hope that you 
enjoy it. Um, and I just want everyone to remember that everybody's listening experience is different. So what I hear is going to be possibly completely different than from what you hear. So if you're just looking for a deck, you're in a $300 range and you don't necessarily care about upgrading op amps, you just want it to plug it in and it to work, go for the J2. The J2 is a great option and you do have the three chip options as well, being the AKM4493, the ESS9026, and the Q2M9038. So that is going to be the best budget option I would say that we have. So now moving on to the J2S. So if you get the AKM4493 version, it is going to be the same four design, just now the op amps are socketed. So that is going to be able to allow you to swap out your op amps if you want to make some upgrades to your DAC. So it is going to be the same design just now with sockets. So now you can add the 3602s or the Bursons. So it just depends on what you prefer. Now, if you're going for the 4499, that is a little bit different of a board design than the 93, and that is why there is the upcharge. But same thing, it is socketed, it only comes socketed, and you can swap out your op amps to make some upgrades. So the J3 is going to be in a little bit of a higher budget. So it is going to start anywhere between the five to $600 range, and that is prior to upgrading op amps. But you do have the option to upgrade your op amps, including the new Pro to Dual Dip 8 adapter 2590 fully assembled. So the J3 is going to be perfect if you enjoy the bigger form factor that matches the A3 and the E3, as well as have the independent switches and like to switch out your op amps. Okay, so now moving over to the Daisy. The Daisy is a completely different DAC series than the J series. So the Daisy, obviously, it's monstrous. It is huge. It starts at 1200 for the Plexi case that has been shown on the Cheap Audio Man from Randy. So that is going to be $1,200. So that is going to be your starting price for the Plexi case with the OPA 1655s. Now, if you want to upgrade, again, you do have to upgrade all eight op amps, but that is going to run you some more money as well. If you want a wood case, it's going to start at 1300 with the red oak case. So where to even begin with the daisy? There are so many customizations that you can make that it is actually pretty insane. So let's start with the case. So if you want a plexi case, you can choose whatever color plexi we offer as your case color. So if you wanted blue and then amber sides, you can do that. If you want it completely smoked or completely clear or anything of that sort, you can do that. As well as change the color of the LEDs up here. So I believe all of them that we have brought into shows have either been white or red, but we also do have pink and blue. So now moving over to wood. So we do offer a variety of species of wood on our website. So of course you can do your customizables that you do on all of our other products, but there is one thing that stands out about the Daisy that no other product offers. The Daisy is the only product that we offer where you can actually choose to get it carved. So your case will get sent up to O'Neill's Creation Workshop in Canada and be carved to the album and song that you would like inspiration from. So Chris O'Neill, he takes the song that you choose. So my favorite song is Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan. So I would design my case. I would say, okay, I want it to be canary and walnut. And I want it to be striped. So I want it to go every other panel. I want it to be different. And then I want it to get sent up to Chris O'Neill. And I want him to listen to that song and any Zach Bryan album and he will carve it to what he gets inspired from, from his music. That is the one difference that the Daisy does offer that none of our other products do offer when it comes to wood. I think that's pretty cool because you are getting a one-off piece of art that you help design. Now, another cool feature of the Daisy is that, let's see if I can pick this up. So there is a plate on top. So this allows you to see all four chips as well as some of the op amps as well 
So if you don't like this plexi plate, you can just get it all solid. So it will be solid just like these. Um, but if you wanted to be able to see all of the chips in there and some of the internals, you can get this plexi plate. But if you don't, then you can just get it solid. So another customization with the Daisy is you can get this aluminum plate in the front or you can get plexi if you want to be able to see inside just like all of our other products as well. So that is going to be the major customizations of the Daisy that differ from all of our other products. All right, guys, so that is going to be the differences between all of the DACs that we offer, as well as all of the op amp options for each DAC. Now, if you wanted to purchase a Daisy, we do have a tab on our website and under inquiries where you can inquire about the Daisy and pick all of your customizations. And then if you wanted to pre-order the J3, you can email in to info at .com. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I do try to respond to everybody. Um, or you can email in again to info at .com. But I hope this helps. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, be kind, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.